Hey guys, how, how are y'all? Um, welcome in the Rover Sports. I wanted to look at a couple of plays from Baker Mayfield on this game pass um, from this past weekend. 397 yards, 29 for 43, 9.1 yards a pass. Unfortunately, we have the three turnovers. So, I'm going to refresh my memory here. Zach Cunningham from Vanderbilt, his instincts are unbelievable at the linebacker position. He played a fantastic game. Here we have a slant route, and it looks like it's cover one. We have one deep safety that's back there, okay? So Cunningham here looks like he's blitzing. So you expect maybe a man-to-man -man cover one, or um, you expect cover one because it looks like Zach Cunningham's blitzing instead. He, he fades back. This route's very good. Yeah, you know, Callaway rounds it nicely, which I like to see. He rounds it on Jonathan Joseph. It's just Baker Mayfield then had to decide, you know, is he throwing it in the A gap or the B gap? Is he throwing it for the first window or the second window? And here, and here Cunningham looks like he's coming in on the blitz. Unfortunately for Baker Mayfield, he's trying... As we go back here, it looks like he's trying to, you know, with his eyes. I totally get it. He's going to isolate this cornerback to Jarvis Landry so Callaway can get behind it. However, in that case, um, Zach Cunningham is just going to fade back and makes just an outstanding play on what could be a completion. What honestly, let me see if it could be a touchdown. Yeah, just a ridiculous play. I mean, and Joseph broke on it pretty good, so it would have been a contested catch. That's why you need great, fast cornerbacks, but uh, really pretty play by uh, Zach Cunningham there. Uh, just a play that I uh, that I noticed. Here's I'm, I'm kind of even recognizing more plays. Here we see a strict cover one man look from the uh, from from t from Texans. A great inside route and Honey Badger comes over, just lays the wood on. Uh, I mean, this is Honey Honey Badger just has so much range. I mean, wa watch where Honey Badger is. He's all the way to the left of the formation. So, so Romeo Cornell is so good at disguising. You see here how that's a, uh, how, how he puts that safety number 20 in kind of a roving position. And, and Honey Badger covers so much ground. And he absolutely has a great form tackle. But watch Honey Badger here. How he's able, you, you think that this is going to be the easiest of easy completions. Baker Mayfield eyes it down. Honey Badger, unbelievable break on the ball right there. Lays a great hit, but but that was a completion. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the turnovers. Well, here Baker Mayfield, a couple of times in this game. I mean, the one thing he can work on certainly, other than forcing it in the coverage, is Baker Mayfield. A little bit of overstriding, and he kind of panics his, inter his internal clock, and that's okay. But he'll get better at this. He needs to realize he has a little bit more time because right here, you know, it's a kind of being nitpicky because it's a very tough play. But here on third and five, if he's able to come back across the green and find this guy, it's going to be a completion. It could be a big first down if he's able to dump it off. Um... You know, however, he throws this ball out of bounds, essentially. This guy's not even open. I mean, you'll see it here, a better angle of Baker Mayfield. Does a good job of escaping, especially hell of a swing move by Jadavian Clowney. Clowney and Watt on the same side of the field there. Pretty scary. As 70 gets completely beat. But Baker then steps up in the pocket very nicely. His check down is right around here. It's kind of overshadowed by the other games, unfortunately. Um, 
And if he's able to kind of find that check down, it's a first down. However, he throws this ball, and this ball is just a throw away when it could have possibly have moved the chains. Baker Mayfield, just internal clock sort of stuff. Um, I think this is the first interception it is. And this is a pick six in the game. This 3-4 defense is really, really dangerous. And throwing across the field is something Baker loves to do. However, this is a throw where they roll it back in the cover two. Zach Cunningham here. Playing zone coverage. What he actually does is pretty brilliant even on the watch back as it looks like he's going to go out to the looks like he's going to go out to that receiver but he's able to come back into the formation and he just makes a he makes like an Alec Ogletree type of one-handed interception he, and he houses it so the route was fun the design of the route I actually liked because Jarvis Landry was trying to hold these linebackers out here. So when he's out here, it looks like he's holding these linebackers. Baker's going to throw it behind there. The ball's already out of his hand. But Zach Cunningham, his instincts are outstanding. And he makes just a tremendous play on the ball. And that's just understanding the game. Zach Cunningham just has a great feel for the game. You know, we, we talked about how he deflected the slant earlier. He's a Vanderbilt kid, obviously. He's very smart. And um, when you start adding Honey Badger, Zach Cunningham playing at peak of powers, Jonathan Joseph being a veteran, then you add the pass rush of Merciless, Jadavian Clowney, and J.J. Watt. This Houston Texans team is playing great defense. And... I expect Andrew Luck to run into a lot of trouble. Now, Andrew Luck against this defense is going to have to find his checkdowns quite often. You're going to have to run the football somehow on the Houston Texans because Cornell's going to be running a lot of tricks for Andrew Luck. And considering Baker Mayfield and how poorly he did in the first half, I'd be very surprised if the Texans weren't able to really beat the Colts decisively after watching this tape. I'm going to show you another interception for Baker Mayfield. This one is more on Baker Mayfield for sure, and the route concept is not good. This is where it's a blind throw where Baker Mayfield, you see there the two deep safeties, so this is going to be some type of... Um, it is a cover two zone look. However, there is no receiver in this vicinity. So Jonathan Joseph is not worried about any screen passes over here. If there was a guy like a Duke Johnson out here, then J then Jonathan Joseph would have to honor a guy that is on the route. However, there is nobody on the route. So Jonathan Joseph is free here to roam. And even though Joseph is playing zone, he's not afraid. He's played long enough in this league where he's not going to be attached to his zone. He's going to rove like a Richard Sherman. And what he ends up doing is, you know, Callaway being a rookie, he doesn't, he doesn't round the cut. He doesn't come back to the ball. But also, Jonathan Joseph comes out of nowhere and intercepts the ball, as you can see right here. And also, again, these linebackers are so damn good from the Houston Texans. Usually linebackers add to the interceptions because this linebacker here, the thing about this route is that to beat the Houston Texans, I believe if you have a route like in, in, in the protection, this throw would have been you know an incomplete pass if this linebacker wasn't so far back. So since they're playing cover two, since there's all these guys that are out here in coverage, you know, th this route is, is, is a disaster against cover two. Nobody is open. 
and this linebacker is able to come all the way back here. It's a cover to uh, look. Now let's see at pre-snap, it's probably different knowing Cronell. Yes, it's extremely different. It's extremely different. And what's this? Pl I got to I gotta research what this play is because it's a play action pass. And these guys, it's really, I mean, I'm learning just as we go along here. You guys are learning with me. I don't really know a ton about football, even though I sound like I do know a ton about football. These guys are fading back into complete cover two. It looks like it's a run defense. So it looks like these linebackers will not be affecting the throw at all. That's why it's a bunch formation set. So the Texans here guess perfectly correct. Okay, they completely read Freddie Kitchens' mind because look at how that turned into a run defense to then a cover two, man, uh, cover two zone, which is a nightmare to throw against. That's why Eli Manning... Um, when he talks about cover two, that's why he has to dump it to Saquon Barkley all year. Uh, you know, that's why you see a lot of quarterbacks like Derek Carr check down. Cause if you're in cover two and you're playing zone with very good instinctual linebackers, that is the one defense. That is the one defense where you're going to have trouble throwing deep. Uh, you know, you're at, you're going to have a trouble hitting curl routes, hitting anything down the field you're better off dumping it off but Cronell he disguises it so well he's really an excellent defensive teacher and I'm kind of enjoying these disguises and uh that was a hell of a play uh Jonathan Joseph there you see him round off the cut right here you guys are going to get a good angle at this okay that linebacker is right in the throwing lane as well so we can't lead him inside it looks like that it looks like joseph is too far back joseph makes a really good play on the ball but overall the play call wasn't good but you got to blame mayfield as well it was a blind throw where he looked left and then came back across the grain it was a first and 20 no wonder so you're all, you're assuming that it's going to be a, uh, a run, but that holding penalty set them back. So then Cronell decides to go with the cover two. And when you have dominant linemen like J.J. Watt, J.J. Jadavian Clowney, you have Merciless, you have all these guys that I mentioned, they can stuff the run by themselves. So then it's very easy as a linebacker to play coverage. Does that kind of make sense as well? Um, really, really fun stuff, um, kind of learning what these guys are doing but here you see the touch of baker mayfield he has to get it over zach cunningham's head it's again so much cover too but there you have to sit down in the zone and uh, this is actually such an amazing job by baker mayfield i have a handful of throws from the second half where he did an unbelievable job of making plays but watch Baker Mayfield, watch his eyes. He doesn't give away the hand, obviously. We always talk about eye manipulation. But the touch in the pocket, especially for a little guy to throw this ball where, look, it's over Cunningham. It's over Cunningham's other shoulder. It's such a beautiful, beautiful throw over Cunningham. And it's and it settles right there. That's a lot of arm talent from Baker Mayfield. That's a, That throw was really fun to watch him make. This defense, the windows here are incredibly, incredibly tight. Any good stuff here? A lot of screen passes. Chubb gets into the end zone. Um, watch this play right here by Baker Mayfield and watch this official. Uh, Houston is up right now. What is what is Houston up right here? They are up 26-7 on the Cleveland Browns. So the referees here, I don't like how late this penalty was called. I'm not, it's a little bit suspicious, you know, because the Browns, I believe, were like a seven point underdog in this game. And the refs, maybe they had the Houston Texans, I don't know. This right here looks more like a quarters coverage because all these linebackers are, all these, you know, cornerbacks are fading back. And uh, the best thing to be quarters coverage is kind of a vertical route. And here, Honey Badger, um, I believe he's playing in the middle of his zone. Let me see actually if it's Zoner Man from the Honey Badger. 
Wow. I think it's actually a man look. Unless the honey badger got sucked up. I don't know why it's man. It actually, it turned out to be man. Unbelievable. It's a little cover to man action. But it's total man on the outside. Baker Mayfield is able to hold the honey badger exactly where he needs. And he steps up and you can see how his arm's going to be hit. But watch what he's releasing this ball. Anticipating that 43's back is to Antonio Callaway. Callaway does an unbelievable job. This is a perfect route versus man. Because <coughs> honey badger in the middle gets sucked away. So then you send a guy deep on a, uh, and he runs a stutter post route where he's gonna fake, he's gonna fake like he's going to the corner, and then he puts on a little bit of afterburners. It's an, it's, a, it's a really nice route from Antonio Callaway. Beautiful route. The throw is up the field towards him. He could have thrown this ball anywhere, and it's a touchdown. I mean Callaway. You look at the speed and. Uh, this hesitation so nice from Callaway. I mean, he's just so physically gifted. I mean, honestly, the hesitation can even be even more precise. But uh, the throw was uh, beautiful, especially when you watch Baker Mayfield. Um, you watch him, you know, he looks first to see what the coverage is. And then, you know, he notices late that, that in the process that it's cover one or that it's a uh, kind of a cover two man look where actually the safeties are responsible for men. That's why Matthew went with Honey Badger in that spot. I mean, there's kind of a hold, but watch when the referee throws this, throws this flag. He doesn't throw it right now. You notice that. Why isn't the flag out? It's not even out, not even out, not even out. This ball is thrown deep down the field. The ref knows that it's going to be a big touchdown. There it goes. Hold on. Watch it again. Just a little bit late. This ball is already in the air. It's already going to be a big play. And the ref doesn't want to risk it. Watch when the flag comes out. Refs can see it kind of coming. Flag comes out. Late call. And it's a touchdown. And the hold was very, very, um, it, it was a very minor hold at that, in my opinion. This throw was just nice from Baker. It was a layered throw. Callaway gets caught from behind. I want, I want to show you just the, the best example of Baker Mayfield, though, on this, on this drive. Um, gotta show you, got gotta gotta show you this play gotta show you this throw this is my favorite throw of the entire entire day um <clears throat> excuse me oh it, it came on this series the one that i kind of ignored i'm gonna tell you this about baker mayfield his arm strength is actually unbelievable. The anticipation of Mayfield, this is what you're going to see here with this throw. Keep in mind, this is a guy that just threw three first half interceptions. Any rookie quarterback would be intimidated and gun shy going into Houston and really having a rough first half. But here, Baker Mayfield, he has to make a throw on this dummy route that is absolutely outstanding to me. And Baker Mayfield's arm talent it, it is actually, or it, it, it's so apparent when you, excuse me, I'm sorry about that. When you, when you, when you're able to watch this tape, you're able to see how damn good this guy's arm talent is. Okay. So we have Nick Chubb rolling out. Okay. Into the, into the flat. And I know that this video might be long. 
Uh, maybe some people will watch it. I hope you can skip around. Nick Nick Chubb's going to run the dummy route, which means, again, that he's just going to sit there because our goal is to, again, occupy this corner back. Okay, our goal is to occupy. So then we're going to have Njoku slip out, I believe. Or no, we're going to have this tight end that really no one's heard of. He is going to pretend like he's blocking up field for Nick Chubb, obviously. He doesn't. He cuts a round here. This cornerback does a good job of noticing it, but the ball is thrown already. The ball is thrown already to a spot up the field, and this window gets really, really tight. Really, really tight. Uh, because that cornerback does a really good job. I mean, here you can see it right here, but this throw requires a ton of balls to make this throw. A lot of confidence, a lot of confidence. And the ball placement is just, it's, it, it's epic. It, it, it's epic ball placement. Look at how powerful that throw is. Decisiveness is needed in this league, especially versus the elite of the elite defenses in the league. How about this one, right? Fourth quarter. I know they're kind of playing prevent. But here you just see Mayfield's arm strength. This is an in cut. It's just so effortlessly thrown. This guy's so much better. When I saw him at the Senior Bowl, I think he would still have a little bit of trouble getting this ball to rise. His arm strength is just even better than it even was when I saw him at the Senior Bowl through the process. This guy just has arm talent. I mean, just watch this throw, guys. This guy just has all the arm talent you need. His footwork is just fantastic. He gets so much in every single throw. And this is just a 25-yard throw. It's just effortlessly done. The mechanics are just really, really good. And then Baker's going to scramble out here. It's cover one zone, or which actually means it's actually cover three with roving guys everywhere. He goes to the back of the end zone here, and he's able to find a guy on probably his fourth read. Ball was let go. Mayfield has great anticipation. This game against Carolina, it might be in Carolina, I don't know. I'm so excited to see more tape. I mean, this guy came out slinging in the second half. If some of those holds weren't called back, it could have even gotten tight late. The Texans in this game won this time of possession. They held the ball for 38 minutes. The Cleveland Browns defense couldn't get off the field to give Mayfield the ball back in the first half or especially when they needed in the second half. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed watching Baker film. I'm not really worried. We had the Zach Cunningham interception. We had the Jonathan Joseph pick. He threw another pick late in the second quarter where he was just being over um, reambunctious. He was very, very late. Um, and, and it was just like an unforced error uh, that, that it's a very easy to correct. The Zach Cunningham pick, I mean, that was just... That one's more frustrating because that's like such an elite level play that you're kind of scratching your head like how did Zach Cunningham kind of go back into that route and, and how did he, you know, intercept that football from that position, uh, which and, and that requires with those types of linebackers. Those are the ones that keep you up at night because you really got to eye manipulate them really well. Your scheme's got to be perfect. But if the Browns were to do this again, I think Freddie Kitchens would show more restraint. I think you would have a lot more underneath throws. Um, I don't know if Duke Johnson was available, but you would utilize Nick Chubb. If the Colts are going to win, you got to be able to hit Doyle and Marlon Mack. Just take it in small chunks against this defense. Um, you got to be very accurate. You're walking on eggshells against this defense. There's not going to be a lot of explosive plays probably against Honey Badger and a Romeo Cronell cover two oriented defense. But Baker Mayfield, the thing I was most impressed by this week was how he was able to bounce back from the adversity of the first half 
of the three interceptions. And he was able to still show confidence to make really tight window throws, to still push it down the field, to still trust everything that he's put himself into, and to realize that a couple of those interceptions are very correctable mistakes. And and there's so many good quarterbacks that like Brett Favre and guys throughout history that are going to throw interceptions. And being a rookie, it's part of, of the lumps of learning the position. And I'm so glad that he had this experience and he's going to come out from it a lot, a lot better. So uh, believe it or not, like as weird as this sounds, even after the three interceptions, if you're a Browns fan, you should still be so confident in this kid because his arm strength is unbelievable. The pocket awareness is perfectly there. The, the anticipation is there. The eye manipulation. This guy has the tools to really be a star in this league. He really does. And, um, and, that, and that's what is so, so fun. And his personality is exactly the personality that I love. Being a quarterback uh, evaluator as all of you guys are watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it, and uh, thanks, and take care, all right?